Brandon, or do you need to head off? Or, I know you're doing yeah. the second show. I, yeah, I think I got to bail after this one. But no, I appreciate you guys having me on. It's always a pleasure. Thank yeah, you. yeah of course. You. Where can yeah. everybody go to vote for you? Well, apparently now it's uh, <laughs> uh, different than usual. Now it's uh, Brandon Herrera for Congress.com is where you can find me. Uh, so you can see some of the other issues and things we talked about. But yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll have to do an update here for too long. All right. Uh, I also okay. wanted to extend the invite to all you guys, too. We're doing another big creator range day down here in Texas on uh in in early early december so you know if you guys want to come on down make the trip kyle will have plenty of flamethrowers and uh air rifles and i don't even know if i'm supposed to be around guns <laughs> you can look at them the government can't get you for that i better revert <laughs> careful no, but also be like, oh, like the past. <laughs> <laughs> that's 15 yeah. years boy that also, if any like of you fun. guys would like to come down or do the unsubscribe podcast we'd be more than happy to have you guys Cool, thank you. I'm, I'm definitely down. Thank you. That sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. The first like actual hunting I ever did when I was very young was with a 20 gauge with my grandpa on his farm, and it was rabbit hunting. And so we were hunting these hares, you know, not, not cute little rabbits. You know, they, they were kind of cute. You know, they were still rabbits, but they're like big wild ones. And he was, <laughs> that's a great mug, Serenity now. And this rabbit mm -hmm. was running across the, the field. And my grandpa didn't even have a gun. He was taking us out to like show us. And so I like got my little 20 gauge up on my what six year old shoulder, however old I was, and then like tracked it, shot it. And like I knew it hit because I heard the like the noise of it hitting and the and the rabbit making noise. And my grandpa like hit me on the back with his, his big farmer hand like, there you go, Taylor. Good job. And so like then he went over there and I walked with him and I had this idea that like it was almost like a video game where like you just end something like mm -hmm. it's just like it's shot it's dead obviously the bullets went in the the shell the 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 bbs went in and i had shot it on the back hind quarter like kind of above it and it had broken its spine and so it was like crawling with its little front paws and my grandpa like he had done it 10,000 times just like not missing a beat just like walked over and like right in front of me like grabbed it by its like barely hanging on lower legs and then took the butt of my 20 gauge and just went like whack and just like smacked it right in the back of the skull because it was hanging down. It killed it right away, if I recall. I, I try not to recall that. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I, I remember like, oh man, this is real. This is like real hunting. He I, I hunted after that a number of times, but he he fucked my youngest brother up and like scared him out of hunting entirely. Because mm. he went out there and like gave my brother a 22, and he was probably six years old also. And they're just walking around in the woods, and he was like, "Hey, there's a squirrel up there on that that branch. Get him!" And so my youngest brother like shot the squirrel, and apparently one shot killed it. Just dropped down, and like I guess my brother like didn't fully internalize what it meant to shoot something with a gun because he was like inconsolable that he had killed a squirrel like really? never wanted to hunt again man ever. childhood me was ruthless like yeah, i'm much me. more tender-hearted now than childhood me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like how old is your brother he's 20 seven years younger no, than no. me so at, at the time at the time probably six yeah Ooh, he did he did this with all of us were around six i think the first times we hunted six or seven i shot one gun and i thought right away i was like i wonder if kyle has ever shot this gun and this gun was it's it was a Barrett 50 cal that was made. There was one of 20 made by the government that is a shoulder mounted 50 cal goes on your uh, shoulder and you're supposed to just like hit hit a helicopter with it. <laughs> All right, this is, <laughs> and, OK, we here may be a little confused somewhere. It, I, what I, is I that? got you. I got you right here. Is that it? All right, no, no. I was very confused because I didn't know such a thing existed. Who was shooting at helicopters with a 50 BMG? Who was this made for? What's a 50? What's, <laughs> what's a 50 BMG? That, that's a 50. Uh, uh, the caliber. Let's take out a helicopter. It's the kind of bullet that it shoots. I mean, anything will take out a helicopter if you hit the guy flying. <laughs> what is this for? <laughs> well, well, Kyle, as you know, oh, yeah, the, here I sent these 50 uh, I sent cals this. <laughs> are kind of for taking out uh, equipment. Right? Yeah, they're, they're anti-material not... rifles. What I'm confused about here is why it would be shoulder mounted like that, like a like a rocket launcher or something. Oh, that's it. Because it still has the recoil. Like like that thing kicks. 
Good job. Yeah, well, that's, that's what I was exactly going to say. It. Like, that's what I was going to say is I, I, I shot it. Okay, like, okay. I, oh, I, I got to see me a you bitch. shoot it. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, might see okay, very the optics way out there. It's only 20 Bro, minutes. it's a Call of Duty thing. It's got, <laughs> a red, <laughs> it's got a red dot and like a foregrip halfway up the gun. It just felt like... <laughs> Lead into it, Harley. <laughs> I know. I, 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 <laughs> pants? Why you I shoot it like a bitch. Bro, your face right <laughs> I shoot it like a bitch. <laughs> no, no, no. You shoot life. it fine because I, I, bet, actually, it, I bet that hurts. Look at your arms, ever though. Done that to my body. Yeah, you, you, you got, got two weight. more. I should shoot it again. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, you have to shoot it. <laughs> you should. <laughs> Harley looks like a strong Dr. Disrespect. Oh, that one was worse. Dr. Disrespect looks like a strong <laughs> I think, Dr. Disrespect. I did. Fair, I, I, but not, Dr. Yeah, Disrespect's yeah, pretty strong, but but Harley is the like the after picture shoulder, for performance. Well, maybe someday they'll lean forward. find out who's real. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Hero pose. Golly. You did all that real well. <laughs> um, I've, I've never seen that, never heard of that. Don't it's, know why that exists. If that's you, crazy. If you, when you showed me the picture, I thought it was a joke gun. Clearly, it has a purpose because they built it. And if the government wanted, government only wanted twenty of them. That's probably a, a sign of its effectiveness, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know yeah. what that's for. If you tell me that's an anti-air barrack, then okay. But it just seems like such a piece of shit that yeah. nobody would ever want to haul that out. So I was, uh, I was watching your. I, I really enjoyed, by the way. I watched a couple. I saw a couple more though. The AR guy versus AK guy. It's like watching. Sorry to hear that. It's like getting really into a, a subreddit on a niche hobby that you don't get yet. And like after you get to like page three, you're like, <laughs> I get the jokes. Like, right. Like I, I get what's happening. Like I watched the first episode and I'm like, okay, I get it. So like AR guys wear scarves and like talk about stats and AK guys are like, let's go shoot things for cheap and have fun. And like this was just total impulse purchase like thought. I was I, I just started looking right after watching that video. I'm like, what kind of AK could I buy if I really want an AK? And so I wanted to ask you. I don't have an AK. If I, I wanted to that. buy one, if I wanted to buy one, what what kind? Where do I look? Treat it like I don't know a thing. So American stuff is usually pretty shit. Like mm -hmm. uh, American, not American built stuff, but like American fully made here. They cut a lot of corners. Corners. They do a lot of casting, a lot of just really dog shit manufacturing because they're like, oh, it's cheap Russian shit, whatever. Mm -hmm. The Russians and the Soviets took that shit very seriously. Like they have very high end like forgings and it's very strong metal and everything and not getting too technical like a lot of the overseas stuff like arsenal very good brand arsenal bulgaria saigas all the russian shits really really good then you get american shit which is like oh it'll detonate after two thousand rounds if you're using hot ammo it's like yeah that's that's not awesome that's been oh, i good. bought an american good ak i didn't know any better oh, and, it is and i know 